Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Power Pivot window to create a relationship that then you can create a pivot table from. And in that pivot table, you can have many related tables. Now in this example, there are three tables that I'm going to relate or link if you like. And this little picture here is, is the links I'm going to make. So I've got a customer table, a product table, and a sales table. So in the customer table, I've got one to nine customers. Products, I've got one to nine products by sheer fluke. And then you can see the customer one has bought product one, two quantities. Customer one brought product two, product three, product four, and there's the quantities but I want the pivot table to break this down for me. So what you have to do is you need to name or create these tables and format them as a table, which is this option over here on the home tab. They need to be formatted as a table. So this has been already done. All of these are formatted as a table. That's why this table design tab is active. They're all tables. Now, once you do that, you need to add these to the data model. Now, if you don't have the Power Pivot tab on your ribbon, if you go to Data and click Manage Data Model, that will activate it as long as you've got a modern version of Excel. 2016 onwards, I think. I think 2013 it was an add-in, but you should have that. And when you click that, it will ask you if you want to activate the Power Pivot tool, and then this tab becomes available. Now, once you've got this tab, we need to add these three tables to this data model. Now, to do that, you just need to click anywhere in that particular table and click Add to Data Model. And then that will add it and start the Power Pivot window. So it says Customer there, and there's that information. Now, if I click back into the spreadsheet and do that for this grey table, add, it just creates another tab across the bottom. And then for this blue table, add, and then I've got these three tables in the Power Pivot window. If I just make that full screen now, because that's all I needed to do for that. In this window, on the Home tab, you've got this Pivot Table option, which we're going to use in a minute where you can do two charts, four charts even, pivot charts, or just a straightforward pivot table. But before I do that, I want to create a relationship. So if I go to diagram view, what you get is all your tables. Now the sales table is, in this example is the joining table. So I'll just push that up there. And you need to link from customer number to customer. And from product to product like so if I pull them out a little bit so you can see that so when you click on this line it highlights what the two fields that are linked so customer number and customer and product and product so once you've done that you go to the pivot table option and select pivot table and then it gives you the option to put this in a, a, a new worksheet or existing worksheet. Well, I'll go for existing so you can see this side by side. OK. Drops it in there and then you'll get your three tables. So what I want is customer name. So that lists all the customers. And then from products, I want product name but I don't want it there, I want it in the columns, like so. And then from sales, I want quantity, and it adds up the quantity. And I'm just gonna put a grid on this because I don't like that. I like it to be gridded off like that. Now you can change this slightly, so let's put that as products. And uh, this can be called customers because that's what they are. Products and customers, I might bring that in a little bit. 
so that's the information so let's have a look how this works then so you've got customer one AMAC AMAC limited now customer one has bought product one two three and four so product one two three and four is these four so customer one has bought access Excel office 365 and word which is one two three four and then the quantities two three four one add up to 10 so that's what it's picking up at the end there quantity 10 so any of these figures that's changed in this source data obviously is going to be reflected in there so if I change um, some of this data uh, let's just add let's see what happens if, if I just add customer one buys product nine and five copies so go back to the pivot table refresh refresh the data and there's the five copies of Google and now it's got a total of 15 courses that he's bought and because I've added that on manually I need to add it on again manually because the color scheme is just the banded light blue and dark blue so that's just a very quick look at how you can use power pivot to create relationships between tables as long as they've been formatted as a table you can do that and then you get the end products as you can see there and if you want to go back into the power pivot window you click on manage and you can see that again if you click on data view you to see the tables but I quite like this view and that's how that works and then you can just minimize this or close it even so hopefully that video was of use so we're looking at creating relationships in the power pivot window so we can have multiple tables in our power pivot thank you for your time I'll see you in the next one